Welcome to the Battle for Azeroth Frost Mage Guide. Um, I'm currently on the Alpha and I'm just going through every single class and making guides of what's changed in Battle for Azeroth. And yeah. So, to start off with the talent tree, um, pretty much the same apart from Ice Nova's come up. So, I think it's just, you know, when you're leveling, you're going to want to have Ice Nova because. Targets aren't going to be alive long enough to bone chilling to get like, the maximum potential out of it with 12 with 12 stacks. But Ice Nova, you're just instant killing. But obviously for PvE, which is what these guys are focused on, Lowly Winter still the best. Um, again, Shimmer's just it's just way too good. I think leveling Glacial um, Glacial Insulation is better because 200% armor. Who doesn't want that? Um, but yeah. So for the next one, it's Mirror Image, Rune Power, and Encanter's Flow. Most people would say Encanter's Flow because it's, you know, not not a clickable ability, so you're always going to have it up. But with Rune of Power, if you aren't putting it down regularly, and if a fight has loads of movement and you're moving out of it, you aren't utilizing that Rune of Power. Like, it's got a bigger range now where you can, you can move a bit far up, further out, but if you don't put it down or, you know, use two charges and you move out of it, it's just a waste. Mirror Image, I uh, just don't think it's any good anymore. And yeah, Encanter's Flow. So I think Encanter's Flow is mainly the best. Unless there's like no movement at all and you're just standing still, Rune of Power's better. So, for the next tier, obviously there's one coming soon, but Evan Bolt, which was the artifact ability for Frost Mage, has now become a talent. And I think like Frozen Touch was good when we had Evan Bolt, so it was the extra brain freeze, but now the guaranteed brain freeze, you really need that. Unless you're going for a firm avoid build where you're gonna be spamming you're gonna be you are gonna have so much haste that you can spam frost bolts so you'll get more procs, but if you're going for the glacial build like glacial spike build like I am at the start of he um start of BFA because you're gonna have loads less haste, the glacial spike build's gonna be better. So you need the Evan Bolt to guarantee the glacial spike shatter. So the next one it's pretty much the same. Um Ring of Frost, just the CC, it's, this is the CC tree basically, so Ice Ward, Frost Nova now has two charges, Ring of Frost, Frigid Winds. Um, Frigid Winds I think overall is just the best, but probably in leveling situations and and in and in PVM. So the next one it's Freezing Rain, so when Frozen Orb makes, Frozen Orb makes Blizzard instant cast. This is really good for AoE fights, because every time your Blizzard it hits, hits someone, it reduces the cooldown of Frozen Orb by 0 0.5. So obviously, get the Frozen Orb out, get the Blizz down instantly. You're getting loads of uh, procs of Ice Lance, and you can just spam them off, just constantly hitting two targets over and over. So, yeah. But for single target and one to two target fights, I think Splitting Ice is just so good with the Glacial Spike build. I think um, Freezing Rain, take that with the Firm Avoid build, because you want to get the you want to get Ice Lances. You want to get Icy Veins staying up longer. Comet Storm, I think, it's just not that good compared to Freezing Rain, where you're going to get more Frozen Orbs off and Ice Lances altogether. Last, last talent, which is the main, you know, what what you want your build to be is based off this last talent tree. So Thermal Void is, you know, Icy Veins is is increased by 10 seconds, which is obviously good because you've got 30% more haste. That tied in with a BL as well. You've got so much haste. So you can just spam, spam, frostbolt, frostbolt, frostbolt. Tied in with frozen touch, you're gonna get so many brain freezes. So you can get the instant flurries and shatter your frostbolts. Ray of frost, just don't take it. It's just, it's just absolutely, it's just, just trash. Glacial spike is just the baby. I like this talent so much. It's so broken with splitting ice, especially at the start when we're not gonna have that best of gear and the haste is gonna be low. You really want the, um, you really want the glacial spike. But I'll show you the uh, single target rotation now for Frost Mage. It's not changed that much from Legion, but I'll just display it. So for the single target rotation, because I've not got a lot of haste, I'm doing Evan Bolt, Frigid Winds, Splitting Ice, Glacial Spikes. So I'm going to demonstrate this with the Rune of Power build, where you're just standing still. So you want to position yourself so you're getting your Ice Lances to hit two targets. That's just a demonstration. So you want to start off with, before the fight starts, just put down your Rune of Power. Then open up with the frostbolt. Then B out and 
use the um, use the instant proc of of your um, flurry because you're gonna have you've got the guaranteed flurry, so you can shatter the Ebon Bolt like this, and the Ebon Bolt hits two targets. So now you just hit the two targets with your eyes to spam up your um, frost bolts to get a stack, and use a glacial spike and flurry on the targets so it shatters the glacial spike. You want to make sure that you're shattering your glacial spike all the time. So now another another flurry to come up for the instant flurry. So now I can use again glacial spike and shatter it. Use that now. You've got to remember to just in the meantime just putting down your blizzards as well. So fro frozen orb comes off cooldown quicker. So you've seen that your your um your rune of power has gone back down. So you just make sure you put it back up. Use the blizzard. And you can see now I can shatter my own glacial spike. So use glacial spike right before it hits. Use my flurry so it shatters. Use up my procs. Spam my blizzard, Evan Bolt. Evan Bolt should come off cooldown. So now Evan Bolt. Evan Bolt now hits two targets, so it's really good. But yeah, this is basically the gist. This is really good for even AoE, where you see it hit two targets for 5k. So now I'm just going to change to my AoE talents quickly. Just go in this so it breaks combat. So now. I think Thermal Void's really good, yeah. Take Thermal Void, Freezing Rain, Frozen Touch. Oh, Ebon Bolt's on cool now, I'm gonna wait for that. I'm gonna use Encanter's Flow here, and yes, stick with Shimmer. Get ready for my Frozen Touch, and my Ebon Bolt's come off cool now. Use that now. So, let's see how many procs you can get. So if you see now, what the with AOE you want to start off with the just start off with a blizzard and then use your frozen orbs, so you're getting lots of procs. So shatter your um just use keep using frost bolts so you can get the instant um you can get your brain instant brain freezes. And you just want to be making sure that you're using things of frost on cooldown and hitting two targets. You want to make sure your blizzards are staying down as well, so you can get frozen on back off cooldown quicker. When you get a flurry, you need to use your frost bolt and then the flurry proc, because you're going to shatter it, and that's just the main, the main thing with frost mage is just keep shattering. You've got to just keep shattering to keep your DPS up. So just keep using blizzards. So frozen orb comes off cooldown. Use frozen orb, then you're going to get loads of procs of fingers of frost. So you just got to make sure you spam them. And obviously, because you put the frozen orb down, you've got an instant blizzard. So make sure you're using that. Shatter your flurry. So now I can see I've got icy veins coming off cooldown. So I want to save up some procs of ice lance and then use my flurry, use my icy veins and use the procs of ice lance so it gets an extended cooldown. Use the flurry, use my um, blizzard so I can get frozen orb off cooldown. The quicker you get frozen orb back, the longer your icy veins is going to last for. So now I use my frozen orb, put down my instant blizzard, and spam my procs of ice lance. Just keep using your ice lance procs as soon as they're up because you need to get the um you need to get your icy veins extended. So ev after every frost bolt you just want to use an ice lance. Every frost bolt just use an ice lance so your icy veins gets extended. And that's basically the gist of of Frost Mage. AoE, you want to keep your blizzards up at all times so your frozen orbs come off and make sure you're using all your procs of things of frost with ice lance. But yeah, that's it for Frost Mage in BFA. I'll be bringing up more guides, and there'll also be a link on the screen now to a dungeon I did with the Frost Mage and demonstrating its AoE and single target potential. And that's on screen now and in the description. So, see you in the next one.